Most people using Google Gemini have no idea that there's a separate, more powerful platform hiding in plain sight, and it's completely free to start using. It's called Google AI Studio, and in this video, I'll show you four separate workflows that gave me expert guidance on life-changing decisions, negotiation coaching, and agency quality creative work. These aren't just features, they're professional co-pilots that can save you hours and can seriously impact your bottom line. So let's jump right in. All right, so here's what makes Google AI Studio completely different than regular Gemini. You've got these three main sections right here. You have chat for conversations. This is where you enter your main prompts. And then we have stream for real-time interaction. So this is where you can share your screen or your camera and actually have live interactions with AI, which I'll show you how to do later. And then generate media for creating images, videos, and audio, which is a more recently added feature. But here's something powerful that's really easy to miss. These system prompts right here. This is where you can give AI a role to play or a set of rules to follow, and it maintains that context throughout the entire conversation. You can see we've got the Gemini models in this drop-down menu right here. And then see these temperature controls? This is your creativity versus precision dial. So low temperatures give you consistent, reliable, more accurate results. And then high temperatures give you more creative, out-of-the-box thinking, but the higher you go, the more chances you have that it can hallucinate. So just keep that in mind. Here's a quick pro tip. Unless you have autosave enabled, Google AI Studio doesn't actually save your chats. So I highly recommend going under settings on the right-hand side over here, and then toggle on the autosaved setting. And now your chats and your media that you generate are gonna be saved in your Google Drive in a folder called Google AI Studio. Now this compare mode feature is powerful. You can literally put two different experts in a room and have it analyze your situation from completely different angles. Same AI, but totally different perspectives. So Google AI Studio has the same Gemini engine, but with professional grade controls that most people never discover. And we're about to put this to work with some real scenarios that can seriously help you level up. So let's start with our first workflow. Let's say you're facing a major life decision. Should you leave your stable corporate job to start a neighborhood coffee shop and bakery? This is exactly the type of decision where you need expert advice from multiple perspectives. Here's where AI Studio's compare mode becomes super useful. We're gonna click the compare mode button right at the top here. And then you're gonna see a split screen view, which is where we're gonna get our side-by-side -side analysis from different perspectives. Now here's another pro tip that's really easy to miss. When you click on system instructions, that button, it's gonna bring up this box that says sync. You're gonna to wanna to untick that sync button. This is important because it lets us use completely separate system prompts on each side. Now on the left, I'm gonna set the temperature to 0.3 for precise risk focused analysis. Here's the system prompt I'm gonna use. You are a conservative financial advisor with 20 years of experience. You focus exclusively on financial security and risk management for small business ventures. When analyzing career decisions, you prioritize steady income benefits and financial stability. Always think, how do we protect financial security and minimize risk? Be numbers focused and cautious. Perfect. Now on the right, I'm gonna set the temperature to 1.4 for more creative thinking. And here's our entrepreneurial coach. You are an entrepreneurial life coach who has helped hundreds of uh, transition from corporate jobs to passion-driven businesses. You focus on personal fulfillment and building a meaningful life. When analyzing career transitions, you prioritize passion and growth opportunities. Always think what amazing possibilities could, could unfold. Be optimistic and growth focused. Now at the bottom of the page, I'm gonna give them both the same scenario within this prompt box. So I'm 32 earning 95,000 as a marketing manager with good benefits. I'm a passionate baker and wanna open a small community focused coffee shop. I have 50,000 saved, partner supportive, analyze financial risks of this business. Help me understand what I might regret if I don't take this step. All right, so we're gonna generate it and see what it comes up with. So we can see here that on the left, the conservative financial advisor is breaking down the financial risk. It's talking about steady income, safety nets, the opportunity cost of leaving a steady job, starting small, testing the market, gaining more experience, et cetera. The entrepreneurial life coach though is focused on growth potential, the regret of not trying, leaving a legacy, the community aspect of it. But it's also saying to start small, testing the market, that kind of thing, which is interesting. Two completely different expert perspectives on the same situation. This is a lot more efficient than going back and forth in one AI chat conversation if you really want two different perspectives or if you wanna do A-B testing. And you can use the same compare mode approach for any major decision. Should you expand to another location? Whether to hire your first employee or keep outsourcing? 
which marketing channel deserves your next $5,000. Just change the personas to match the decision that you're facing. Now, if you're excited about leveraging Gemini for strategic business work, especially for marketing, then I recommend that you take a look at this free ebook from HubSpot called Google Gemini at Work. I'll link it in the description box below. This guide walks you through how to leverage the five tool Gemini marketing stack, including deep research, notebook LM, Gemini 2.5 Pro, image generation, and learn about, and how they can work together for different use cases like research, strategy, content creation, and more. You'll get prompts that you can copy, paste, or customize for your own needs so that you don't have to start from scratch. Plus, there's a four-week implementation plan that guides you through everything step-by-step. Step. My favorite section is the content multiplier template. It shows you exactly how to turn one piece of research into multiple marketing assets, which can help you work more efficiently. Download it for free using the link in the description and thank you HubSpot for sponsoring this video. Now, if strategic decision-making from workflow number one impressed you, wait until you see how AI Studio helps you perform under pressure. Let me show you how it becomes your personal negotiation coach. Let's say you have a salary negotiation coming up that could be worth an additional $25,000 a year. Watch how Google AI Studio gives you real-time feedback on both what you say and how you say it. So for this demo, we're gonna go over to the stream real-time function right here. And I'm actually gonna click this webcam button right here. But before I do that, I'm gonna click on this button right here to add my system instructions. And I'm gonna give it this prompt right here. You are David, an experienced executive coach and negotiation expert. I want you to play the role of a hiring manager, then provide comprehensive coaching feedback, including verbal communication, body language, posture, and facial expressions. Observe my webcam feed and provide specific work feedback on how I'm coming across visually and verbally. Also, let me know how I can position myself to be successful in receiving my requested raise. All right, so let me try this live and we'll see what happens. Hi, David. Uh, I've been with the company for two years and I believe my contributions have grown significantly. Based on my research and my performance, I'm looking for a 25% increase to $125,000. And I've made the company $3 million this year at a 15% margin. And that far exceeds my job metrics and I've outperformed the rest of the team. Thanks for sharing this video. I'll analyze your presentation and provide feedback. Strengths. Your verbal communication is clear, confident, and direct. Good eye contact with camera. Areas for improvement. Body language. I recommend adding slight gestures to emphasize key points. It will add more dynamism and engagement to your delivery. Facial expressions. Your expressions are generally neutral. It might be good to show more enthusiasm when you talk about your accomplishments. Posture. Sit up straighter to project more confidence. Tips for positioning yourself for a raise. Quantify your achievements. Highlight specific numbers and metrics to illustrate your contribution. Look at that feedback. That was pretty amazing. It's giving me coaching on my verbal delivery, my body language, even my facial expressions. This gives you really powerful access to executive level coaching capabilities for negotiating strategies, body language analysis, and executive presence all in one. And while it's not a replacement for human expertise, it's an incredible way to practice and get objective feedback on your delivery. And you can use the same stream mode feature for so many other things. Practice your quarterly review with your boss, rehearse that big client pitch that could land you a $50,000 contract, or get step-by-step -step help with Excel when it keeps crashing and you have a big deadline tomorrow by sharing your screen and asking it to guide you step-by-step. -step. Just adjust the system prompt for whatever coaching or assistance that you need. Now I'm really excited to show you this next workflow. Wait until you see what happens when we tackle this creative work that would normally cost thousands and take weeks. I'm gonna show you how to create professional visual content that gives you agency level capabilities in real time. For this demo, let's create a campaign for a company we'll call Elm and Ash that sells sustainable water bottles. We're gonna create a photorealistic image and video content. To do this, we're gonna head over to generate media right here. And then I'm gonna click on the imagine button first to generate the image. So now I'm just gonna describe the image that I want. So here's my prompt. Professional lifestyle photograph of an athletic woman in her 30s drinking from a sleek minimal water bottle with matte black finish, et cetera, et cetera. She's sitting on a moss boulder. Background shows tall evergreen trees fading into soft fog. And the photograph style, premium lifestyle marketing, hyper-realistic cinematic quality. And let's see what we get. Look at that, wow, that looks really nice. That's very high quality and it looks really realistic to me. The only thing is that there's water kind of spewing out the back of the bottle, which is a little bit weird, but aside from that, it looks really good. 
Now here's a quick pro tip for you. The key to generating really good AI generated images is being super specific about what you're looking for and the details you want. So notice I'm describing the lighting, the mood, the composition, the more detail, the better the result. Now, when you generate your image, make sure to download a copy of it because we'll need it for the next step. So another awesome thing that we can do to this image is we can turn it into a video. So to do this, I'm gonna go click on generate media again, but this time I'm gonna click on VO. Now this is an important heads up. Video generation has strict daily limits on the free tier. So I'm really gonna make my prompts count here. So plan your video projects accordingly. You can't just keep regenerating an unlimited amount of time. So just keep that in mind. So now I'm gonna give it this prompt. Transform this lifestyle image into a cinematic video with subtle camera movement, natural human animation of a woman taking a refreshing sip. And I'm gonna just describe the background and then describe the style that I'm looking for. And then we're gonna hit the run button to generate it and see what it comes up with. All right, let's hit play. Wow, that actually looks really, really good. The only thing is that water that's kind of spewing out the bottom of the bottle that looks a little bit funny. But aside from that, I think it looks really realistic and really good. And it captured the image really well too. Here's a quick pro tip. If the original image that you're using has quite a bit of text on it or complicated graphics, then the AI will struggle to animate them properly for you. That's why I kept this image clean and simple. So for the best video results, just minimize the text and graphics that you have on the original image. Now, another thing you can do here is you can actually combine two different images. So for this, we're gonna go back to generate media again, and then we're gonna click on Gemini image generation instead. Let's say you're an interior designer and you're working on a job for a client and you wanna show them how a piece of furniture would look in the space. You can take an image like this of a home, give it a prompt like I have where I'm asking it to combine two different images without changing the actual image of the home, add some shadows where the chair is supposed to go, describe how you want it position, and you can get something like this where the chair is now in the space. And you can apply these same approaches to create animated social media graphics, product mockups in different settings, or even animated food content for restaurants. Now our final workflow might be the most practical of all of them, but it solves a major pain point. Let me show you how to turn complete chaos into organized intelligence. Let's say you just attended a major industry conference, a tech conference, which we'll call Innovate Sphere 2025. And you came back with overwhelming amounts of information scattered across handwritten notes, photos of presentation slides, and PDF handouts. Rather than putting your notes in a drawer somewhere and maybe even forgetting about them altogether, what if you could actually take all that information, organize it in a few minutes and turn it into something actionable that you could listen to on the go? That's exactly what I'm about to show you how to do right now. I'm gonna upload a bunch of different conference materials, handwritten session notes from six different presentations. Here's what it actually looks like so you can see it's really handwritten. Speaker handout PDFs, networking conversation notes with business contacts, action items and follow-ups, and photos of whiteboards and key displays. Now I'm gonna give it this prompt right here and I'm gonna ask it to organize all of this chaos into actionable intelligence, create a comprehensive summary, including key learnings, strategic opportunities, networking intelligence, follow-up priorities, and then organize it by urgency and impact. The key to great organization prompts is being really specific about the output structure that you actually want. Notice I'm asking for priorities and urgency levels, which makes the results way more actionable. All right, so once we generated, this is what we get. Look at these organized notes right here. We got an executive summary, key learning themes, strategic opportunities, networking follow-up priorities, actionable next steps. These are awesome. And it read my handwriting really well, actually. This would take hours to do manually, but I did this in about 10 minutes. Now here's a really cool feature. Let's turn this analysis into a shareable business podcast. So first we need a podcast script. So I'm gonna give it this prompt. Transform this conference summary into an eight minute podcast style discussion between two business professionals. I tell it the two professionals. Make it natural and conversational for team sharing and commute listening. There should only be two speakers, no music, etc. And now when I generate this, I get a nice script between two different people speaking. Now I'm gonna copy this script right here onto my clipboard. And then we're gonna to go to generate media. And then we're gonna click on Gemini speech generation right here. Now in this screen, I'm gonna paste the script right into the style instruction box. And now I need to select the speakers on the right hand side. Otherwise it's not gonna work properly. So at the top, it already has multiple speaker audio selected, which is exactly what we need for this. For speaker one, I'm gonna type Rachel. And for speaker two, I'll put David. 
Perfect, so now you can see it separated the text by the speaker. So now we're gonna hit run at the bottom and give it a few minutes to generate and see what we get. All right, so I'm gonna play a quick 15 to 20 second snippet of it. All right, David, thanks for doing this. I think we both agree that after three packed days at Innovate Sphere, it would be a huge mistake to just let our notes gather dust. I wanted to record this debrief while it's all fresh in our minds. Absolutely, Rachel. Good call. That was one of the most intense conferences I've been to in a while. That actually sounds really great. Very useful and very natural sounding. And you can use the same approach for organizing any type of information chaos. For example, analyzing a whole bunch of customer reviews to figure out why people are actually buying, or even uploading multiple research papers to get one comprehensive summary. You can also create audio summaries of long reports for team briefings or commute listening. Before we talk about best practices, let me show you another superpower of AI Studio. It's ability to extract information from videos and provide real feedback. I'm gonna upload one of my YouTube videos about how to get more leads with Gemini just to show you how this works. All right, and I'm just gonna give it a really simple prompt. Analyze this video and create a step-by-step -step training document with key points that my team can follow on how to use Gemini to generate more leads, et cetera. And look at this, it's created detailed documentation with clear instructions based on what I went through in the video. And this is very accurate, by the way. This is perfect for turning any training video or process walkthrough into professional SOPs that your team can actually follow. Now I can also ask a follow-up question about the video quality itself. So let me give it this quick prompt, provide feedback on the actual video, what could be improved for better viewer engagement? And you can see it's giving me feedback. So you can also use this to analyze your own presentations or training sessions to see what you're doing well or what could be improved. It's like having a professional video coach review your content for you. Now, before you run off and start using these workflows, there's some pro tips that I need to share with you to save you from some serious frustration. Remember that video generation has daily limits on the free tier, so plan your projects accordingly. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Google AI Studio doesn't automatically save your chats. So always either download your results immediately, copy important conversations into a document, or make sure that your autosave setting is toggled on so that you can access your chats in Google Drive. Now for privacy protection, just be aware that if you're on the free version, that Google may use your data to train the models. So just be aware if you're using sensitive data, proceed with caution. And here's my golden rule for any AI work. Always review the output for accuracy and cross check really important business advice. I use AI as my starting point for ideas and analysis, but I never skip my own judgment on final decisions. What I love about Google AI Studio is that you now have access to capabilities that used to require a pretty big budget or specialized expertise. You have strategic thinking that gives you access to consulting level analysis, negotiation expertise that can significantly impact your career and income, creative capabilities that give you agency level results, and the ability to turn information chaos into actionable insights that you can listen to on the go. Now, if you're eager to get started with Google AI Studio, here's what I recommend so that you don't get totally overwhelmed. Pick one challenge that you're facing right now, a tough decision, an important conversation, a creative project or information chaos. I'd recommend starting with the first workflow that we did using compare mode since it's immediately useful to most people. Don't try to transform everything all at once, just tackle one real problem this week and see what happens. Have fun with it, document what works, and make sure you save your successful prompts because you'll definitely want to reuse them. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And if you want to learn more about how you can use AI to level up your work and your life, then click this next video.